Okay, this video was previously recorded, but <clears throat> the video didn't take, so I'm going to go ahead and go over this again. This is the 11.2 finding the domain and range from the graph of an exponential function. So when you're doing the domain, it's going how far to the left does the graph go and how far to the right does the graph go. And for any exponential, it would always go to the left forever and to the right forever, so the domain is negative infinity to infinity. The range is the y values from the bottom of the graph to the top. So how far low does it go and then how far up does it go? So it goes down toward negative infinity and then it goes up towards this asymptote but it never quite touches that asymptote but it gets very close. So it goes up to the y value negative one but since it never touches the y value negative one you use a parentheses. Now in Alex it wants you to use either a that says all real numbers, a button that says the empty set, or it wants you to use an inequality to represent the domain and the range. Now since domain is negative infinity to infinity, that's the same as saying all real numbers, okay, which is what I would have selected for this problem. The range is all the values from negative 1 toward negative infinity. So how do I write that as an inequality? Well, that would be everything to the left of negative 1, which means everything that is less than negative 1. And which variable should I be using? You use x for domain and you use y for range. So then that means my y values should be less than negative 1. And sure enough, all the graph is below where the y values are less than negative 1. Now for this other example, it does go to the left forever and to the right forever, so the domain is negative infinity to infinity, just like it was before, which is the same as saying all real numbers. And then the range goes from this spot really close to that red line and then up forever. So from that uh, asymptote is at three, so from three to infinity, but since it'll never touch the asymptote, it's not going to be included, which means there will be a parentheses there. Now as an interval looks like here's three and it's from three everything toward positive infinity. And so that's everything to the right of three and that is written as greater than three. But again because we're talking about range it needs to be the y is greater than three versus the x greater than three. So range you use y, domain you use x. Unless you're clicking on the button that says all real numbers you don't need to put x or y.